You've looked at your course presentation or Moodle site and discovered that your course has an open book exam. In this video, we will discuss what to expect in an open book exam, and you will be able to choose strategies to help you prepare well. Open book exams ask you to integrate information from the course into well-structured answers while allowing you to access your course texts, notes, and other resources during the test period. So what are open book exams usually like? First, it's important not to expect that an open book exam will be easier than a traditional exam. Because you have access to your course materials, your instructor is unlikely to ask questions that require you to simply copy basic information. Instead, you will be answering big picture questions that ask you to demonstrate that you can analyze and apply concepts. A tool called Bloom's Taxonomy gives one way of understanding how to approach take-home exams. While you need to remember and understand basic course concepts, the foundation levels, take-home exams are more likely to work at the higher levels of the taxonomy, asking you to do tasks like applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. You may be asked to solve case studies or apply principles you have learned to new scenarios. So, how do you go about preparing for an open book exam? The foundation of your exam preparation will be your careful reading and learning of concepts. You will need to learn your material as well as you would for any other exam. What are some other things you can do? Number one, make your own notes and study guides. These will support you in the exam and help you learn as you prepare them. Resources like summaries in your own words, charts, and diagrams will help you access key concepts quickly. In an exam situation, you won't have time to reread the text. Number two, use sticky notes or tabs to mark key concepts in your course materials so that you can find them quickly. Number three, if your exam includes solving problems, make a study sheet with your key formulas. Number four, create study questions. Begin by looking at course and chapter objectives. Make your own questions and be sure these are complex questions that ask you to apply, evaluate, compare and contrast, synthesize ideas, or solve a case study problem. You might want to share questions with members of a study group. For more help on creating good study questions for deep learning, click on the four levels of questions link in the video description. What will you do on exam day? Here are some tips. Often, questions on an open book exam ask for a paragraph or an essay length response. Here are some strategies for approaching these questions. First, read the whole exam. If you have a choice of questions, identify the questions that you feel you are able to answer the best. Two, make a point form outline of your answer before you begin to write. This will help you write the kind of well-organized answer that your instructor will be looking for. And third, write what you know first and use your materials to reference details or supporting information. Number four, Remember that you must follow the academic integrity policies of the university. Unless your instructor specifically says otherwise, you cannot work together with another classmate on an open book exam. In summary, in this video you learned what to expect on an open book exam, what you can do to prepare, and what you can do to answer questions well on the exam. Good luck on your exam. For more help, visit us online at kpu.ca slash learningcenters.